world I'm wanting to look at. So you're telling me that you talked to Faith and got her number? Yes, I did. Turns out she's cool after all. What did I tell you that day? Didn't I say she was into us? You mentioned that, but the person you were referring to was the other lady. I don't remember her name. Did you see her today? I had only seen Faith. I didn't even ask her about her friend. You should have. So it would be even for us. One for me and the other for you. There's this program I'm meant to go for. You and Faith or who? Some other lady I met. It's for a church program. Church program? <laughs> You're funny. Well, have fun bro. Let's go together. Who knows, you might meet some ladies there. Nah, I'm not going. You go and pray for us. At least you're enjoying this season already. Turn off the gas, let's go. Or better still, when you are done, we'll go. If I'm the one you're waiting for, you wait for long. Better go. I don't even feel like going. It's Kelly, she's calling me already. Kelly is the church girl? Yes, she is. If you see her, man, she's very beautiful. Doesn't matter. I'm not going, no matter what you say. Tell me you're not happy as we came for this program. I am glad. Where is the person that invited you? Look at him over there. He's talking to some students. Can we get going home now? We are done, right? I need to say hello to him before I leave here or I should leave like that. Don't just take too long. I still have stuff I want to do today. Let's wait for him out here. So it is short boy you want to be dating now. Why do you always think anyone I go out with, I want to date a person? I don't know. See, I'll go inside and wait for you, cause I can't be standing. Problems, Chelsea. If you don't want to stay, you can as well go home. Ha! You know me. I will just leave you. I'm not stopping you from leaving. After all, we both came to the world separately. You want to start with your sweet vex, right? I'm not vexing. I'll wait for you. Look at the dress they are showing you inside the hall. Let's go inside and talk to this guy so we can start going home. Good idea. This one you keep looking at, who are you searching for? There's someone I had specially invited, but I can't find him. Who is the person? One guy like that. I don't think he showed up though. One guy? Which guy is that, Madam Kelly? You both don't know him. It was while I was sharing the leaflet that I met him. Well, the program was a success, Kelly. Proud of you. Oh, glory to God. My friend has turned to mommy pastor. I promise you that it won't last. It's just because she's going through a heartbreak. Who is going through a heartbreak? All that is in the past. Look at that. There he is. He's coming after the whole program. He's cute though. Yeah, he's cute. Not a church boy. It's obvious from his dressing. You're judging from physical outlook. See, I need to go and meet him. I'll see you guys later. And if you can't wait, go home. The truth is she's not good for you, son. You keep saying she's not good for me. But mom, you've never given me one tangible reason as to why I shouldn't be with Naomi. I don't like her. I know you don't like her. But what has she even done wrong to you? At least let me know. She's not good for you. She's someone that will distract you off your life plans. Mommy, all these are just assumptions. You're just being stubborn. You don't like to listen to me. How have I been distracted from my life, mom? Am I not doing the right stuff? I go to work. I do what you expect of me. The same job you missed yesterday because you were out with her. It was just a one-time thing. You're lying to me, son. I will both know it. See, I want the best for you. And Naomi isn't the best person for you. I don't want you with her. That's the lady I want to get married to, mom. That will never happen. I guess I will never get married then. If that's how you want it, there is no problem. Fine. Come back here, Toby. We are not done talking. I need to prepare for work, mom. You came, Jacob. I came late. They've closed already. Yes, I told you we weren't going to take long, didn't I? Yes, you did. But I didn't expect that they would close this fast. I'm sorry. You have to show me that you're sorry, Jacob. How do I do that? Take you on a date to show it. You want to take me on a date? If that will make you believe I'm sorry, I'm willing to do that. Not a date. I'm not interested in that. You'll have to attend three programs with me. No, no. A date is better. Three dates. <laughs> You're funny. Well, let's say three programs and then afterwards we can have a date. But that's if it's okay with you. Well, that's fine with me. So how was the whole program? How did it go? It was a success. Everything went really well. That's great to hear. So what do you say after you are done here? I take you out. You want to take me out? Yes. It doesn't still stop the three other programs I've got to attend. I don't think it will be possible today. I still have a lot of stuff to attend to today before I go home. And it will be very, very late by then. Isn't that your new crush? He's the one. What is he doing here? Look at the way he and Kelly are talking together. Seems like they've got something going on between them. 
that's not true let's go and meet them meet them and then do what ask them if they are both dating right i'll be right back don't go and make a fool of yourself dear please for my sake hello kelly jacob what are you doing here faith what a surprise don't tell me you're also a church person i'm not a church person that is for new converts like kelly what does she mean by new convert what was that about nothing what are you doing here i came for the program but i got here late you missed that's the truth it was really interesting and powerful wow i missed it then are you heading home or you are still here you can go home let me walk you down hey man what's up i'm good i thought i told you we should meet at the office did you check the time it's probably just tonight right i'm an hour late i know it's almost noon man i don't think you are needed in the office today it's almost noon yeah, I waited for you for like an hour before I left the office to come check you at home. Make sure you are good. Damn it. I know my mom has got enough reasons to sack me. What's going on with you two? Why are you asking me like she hasn't already told you what happened? I'm asking you to tell me, Toby, because I saw her crying in the living room. Pity cries to make me feel like a bad person. See, you have got to stop making that woman cry. You know she has loved you all this while when no one was there. You want to start your own troubles, right? I'm just telling you the truth. You should make your mom happy. At the expense of my own happiness and future, right? This is about Naomi. I know already. What's my mom's problem with Naomi? Like what? How can she just hate her so much? Do you think your mom will dislike her without a reason? Guy, we've been friends for much long. What reasons has my mom ever given? She doesn't like Naomi. I love her and there's nothing anyone can do about that. I just need to get enough money to rent my own apartment. It's just because I've spent my money on that new laptop. You are going to move out. Yes, since she doesn't want me here, I will go elsewhere. You are actually a cool guy. I'm impressed. You thought I wasn't because of the whole restaurant issue. Yes, I did. I can tell that it wasn't even your idea that day to say hello to us. I was in a complicated mood that day. That's it. Well, I'll leave you to talk. I'm tired of these heels I'm wearing. It's nice seeing you, Chelsea. You should give me your number. What for? Not for me, but for Sean. He likes her. Sean isn't my kind of guy. Don't keep my friend out for too long. What kind of guy is Chelsea's type? Do you want to see if you would fit in with that type of guy? What happened with you and that guy? What guy are you referring to? The one you are looking around for. Cute church guy. Oh, Jacob. Nothing happened. He came late. That's just it. That's not what she is asking about. The way you left when Faith went to meet him. Nothing really, guys. She's lying to us. Isn't it obvious? Because I noticed the way you made a face when Faith was talking with you. Nothing really, guys. See, let's forget about it, please. Tell us what happened. Fine. She mentioned something that I felt she shouldn't have said. She called me a new convert in front of Jacob. Why would she call you that? I don't know. It seems she's trying to get his attention. And you know me, I'm not interested in all of that. So I just left before she goes on saying stuff she shouldn't say. What kind of stuff will that be? You all know what I was like back then. And Faith might have seen me in some occasions. So what? Wasn't she also delivering her own life that way? She was, but that's not my own business. I don't just like talking on some stuff. So do you like this guy? I don't. I don't even know anything about him. She likes him, Eve, but she won't admit it. You are her friend, so you should know her type of guy. You are type of guy, Jacob. <laughs> I'm definitely not. If Sean doesn't come close to being her type, then who am I? You could be her type. You know the quiet, cute, calm guy. You think I'm cute? You're cute a bit. You're actually more cuter with the way your eyes are and your hair. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, what do you see one of these days when you're less busy? We go out. Are you asking me on a date? I am. But that's if you agree to go out with me. Let me think about it first. I am busy most of the times. School, work and all of those stuff, right? Something like that, Jacob. You know not everyone is an A student like you. How do? How do you know? People talk and all I needed was to ask about you and I got enough information about you. You asked about me? Don't let it get into your head. It doesn't mean anything. I'm actually going to allow it to get to my head. Fit asked about me. Let me go inside. See you another time. Why are you running away? Are you shy? I've got to go. I need to wake up in the night to read. Would you wake me up when you wake up to read? Why don't you do that instead? Wake me up when you wake up to read. Me, a new convert. Why did she even have to say that out there? She shouldn't have said something like that in front of Jacob. Not even Jacob. In front of anyone. <laughs> Why does my past keep coming to me? Why can't people just look at me for who I am right now? And not those stuffs I've done back then. Kelly, is everything okay? 
Yeah, everything is fine. What do you want? Just came to check on you, because I know you, you can start thinking now. I'm fine. Are you coming to bed now? No, I'm not. I am going to work today. Have you forgotten? So you can have the bed to yourself and enjoy yourself. Thank you. I'm feeling too lazy to go to my room today. You are thinking, Kelly. It's obvious to me. What's wrong? I'm fine, Eve. Where is Naomi? Is she around or she went to see her baby boo? She's in her room reading, I think. Give me your book. Let me also let me also read before I sleep. Kelly, you are a great person. One of those I am happy to have in my life. And let me remind you that your past doesn't defend you anyway. It doesn't. Thank you. I don't think it's necessary for you to leave the house. Chase her out of the house. And you know why she did that? Because it's her house. This doesn't solve any issue here. Solves a lot of issues for me and Naomi. She can move over to my place and we can continue our relationship in peace without the fear of my mom. I'm an adult Leo, but my mom is always controlling this or that. Your mom will be unhappy if you do this. What do you want to see me for? I'm leaving Abuja soon to Calabar. Wow, really? Yeah. Remember the job I applied for? Well, I've gotten it. That's great. Congratulations, man. I'm happy for you. You see, this is what I'm talking about. Thanks, Toby. Do you know how long it took for me to get this job? I know. I'm really happy for you. This calls for celebration. When are you leaving? I'm still very around for now. Let's say in the next two months, I will resume. You know it's more of a contract job for a year. I remember the details. Right now, I wish I'm you. Why? You have got a great job in your mom's company. What else? I want to go far away from my mom. Don't do it, Toby. Please, don't do this to your mom. I beg of you. You are all she's got. Hello, Kelly. Jacob, how are you doing this evening? I'm doing fine, and you? I'm doing okay. Sorry I couldn't see you off as I was really busy running around. I should be the one apologizing to you for not coming on time and also leaving without seeing you. It's okay. No offense taken. You know, aside from your name, Kelly, and the fact that you're a church person, I don't know anything about you apart from that. Church person? I'm not sure I want that title myself. But you're a church person. I suggested we go on a date, but you said we should attend programs instead. What does that say to you? Kind of makes me a church person. <laughs> we can make it two programs and three dates. That's more like it. I would prefer that. Okay then. Are you back home or still in fellowship? I'm tired and all I want to do is sleep. So where do you stay? Off campus or in campus? Why are you asking, Jacob? So I'll pay you a visit now, if you are okay with it. Someone is gradually falling in love. I like him, Chelsea. He's cool. What did I just say? You are falling for him bit by bit. What do you think of him? He's cool and I think you two can make a great team together as he's kind of calm and you're also kind of calm. He kind of asked me to go out with him on a date. Tell me you didn't agree to do it, please. I didn't. I asked him to allow me to think about it first. Don't go and be looking like you are desperate. Allow him to show everything. Make the move on everything. Then you can agree or disagree. He's so cute though, you know. Falling in love fades. Just be careful so you don't break your heart. Were you able to talk to him? I was, but he's still being stubborn and angry at you. I am doing everything because of him. Your friend doesn't understand or know nothing. What is wrong with him? Ma, just give him time. I'm sure he would still understand. How do you got the contract? Congratulations Thank you very much, you. ma. But there's no way I could have gotten the job without you. It's okay. And you're welcome, my dear. Toby might be leaving the house soon. I know you would want to leave because of what happened. But I know how to deal with him accordingly. Just don't be too harsh on him, so you don't push him away. He's the one who is pushing me away. All these years, all these years, he used to see me as his protector. But ever since we started having disagreements on Naomi, he doesn't even see me anymore. One thing I'm sure of is that he really loves and admires you. He doesn't, Leo. If he does, if he does, he won't do what I don't want. Can't you just allow him to be with her? Never. What are you saying? It's like he has got you to come and talk to me, right? He didn't. I was just... Never mind, ma. That's just slip of my tongue. Good. Now, when do you leave for Calabar? In two months' time, at most. We'll be seen in Calabar then. Not today, Jacob. Another time. Okay then. You take good care of yourself. Bye. That was Jacob. I can tell that he was the one from the way you were just smiling. Me smiling is a normal stuff. He wanted to come over. Why didn't you allow him? I don't want to start anything that I can't continue with him. And why can't you continue what you start with him? Or is this your church policy? I don't like it when you all mention this church stuff, please. I'm sorry, don't be offended. It's just annoying. First, it was fate, and now you. I knew you took it to heart when she said that. 
Although you are saying everything is fine. It's nothing really. I think you should go out with Jacob if he asks you out. I have heard you, but he's not asking me out. He's got faith. Did he say that on phone? Or you are just making assumptions here? He didn't have to say it. But do you think the two of them might have something? To do you need me to find out for you? That's not necessary. Aren't you meant to be at work already? Check the time. I will go now. So should I find out if the two of them are dating? No, I don't need you to do that. Where have you been? I went out with some pretty ladies. I called you but no response. I told you we were going to church for a program, didn't I? One of the pretty ladies invited you, right? Yeah, but you won't believe who I saw in fellowship. Who? Faith and Chelsea were both there. Chelsea? Who's Chelsea? Faith's friend, the one who we met in the eatery. What? You mean those ladies came to fellowship? You're joking, right? I'm not joking. I even walked them home. You're lying now, I know. You mean you walked the ladies home? They don't even look like those who would attend fellowship for any reason. You missed out, believe me, Sean. So, there are lots of pretty ladies in fellowship. When is the next program? So, we'll go together. I need to also meet some new beautiful ladies. You and women. Not me. It is you and women. I mean, you've got faith and this church girl. I've not got any of them. Just only me. Going slowly with things, right? I'm not doing anything here with either of them, Sean. They are just friends. I will look forward to seeing you in Calabar. We ought to celebrate this new job of yours. Toby also said that. But not today for all those celebrations. Why not? You have plans with that love of yours or what? We don't, but I'm not just in the mood for celebrating. Talk to me, dear. What is wrong? It's my mom. She's in the hospital and she's not getting better. I thought you told me that she was discharged already. So what happened? She fell ill again and it's kind of tiring. The continuous sickness and all that. What do you want to do at this point? Talk to me. I'm thinking of taking her to another health facility. I'll make that happen. Just let me know the one you want to take her to. Then I'll make sure that everything works out. Thank you, Ma. I know I can always count on you, Ma. I want to also be able to count on you all the time, darling. What happened? Nothing really. I just want to be here with you. I know, but you've been quiet and calm. So what's wrong? Nothing is wrong. I just want to be with you here, baby. So I'd like you to come over and see me at noon. Did your mom sack you? No, she didn't. She won't do that. Okay, that's your leave then. So... So nothing. Am I wrong to go after my own dreams? My own desires? It isn't wrong. But the question will be, what does your heart desire? You are the one my heart desires, Naomi. You. Mm, you're making me to blush. From the first time I met you in high school, up until now, you are still the one I love and want every person day with. I also feel the same about you. I just wish your mom would accept me. What if... She never approves of you. What happens then? Nothing happens. So far you still love me and you want me in your life. I will always want you, Naomi. I've told you long before now that you are the one my heart chooses and desires now and forever. I wish your mom would just like me and accept me. I wish so. But regardless of that, nothing is going to stop me. I promise you. Just keep loving me, Naomi. Mom? Toby, I see you decided to come to work today. What's the meaning of this? What is written in the letter, son? Read it out, let me hear it. Mom, is this some kind of joke or what exactly is this? I don't understand what you're saying. Tell me, what's in the paper? Something on being sacked. Oh, you've been sacked, really, son? You are playing with me, making me feel like what I'm saying isn't making any sense. You've been sacked, what do I do about it? You can't sack me, mom. I didn't do that, son. Remember, I'm also a staff here like you. You sacked me all because of Naomi. I don't know what you're talking about here. Are you saying you don't know I was giving this letter? I don't know, but I'm sure if they gave you the letter, it's because you've not been doing your job well. I know what you are trying to do here, but you won't win. What am I trying to do, son? I don't understand. You are relieving me of my job because of Naomi. I don't know what you're talking about, son. I will leave the company and I will find another job, I promise you. 